is going on everybody i hope y'all are having a wonderful day today i hope uh hump day was great for y'all anyways let me go ahead and disclaim this video if you don't like a whole lot of cussing or whatever you are if you're a fan of tamar braxton i suggest you don't watch this video because i'm about to go in on this bitch so i sat down and i was scrolling through youtube today and i just happened to come across this video because i don't watch the steve harvey show and i should have because tammy Roman was up there who i love however Tamar was up there and the lady Birkin or someone had asked her something about, I guess, getting in the car with letting your kids get in the car with a stranger or whatever. I don't know. And I totally understood what Tamar was saying. Um, But she just was very disrespectful and very rude. It was just like, oh, no, 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 because we black, black people don't do that. And she was very right. But the lady was just like, okay. And, you know, Tammy was sitting over there and she agreed with what Tamar said. But, you know, I bet Tamar wouldn't have tried Tammy like that. And it just goes back to my conclusion about Tamar, why you don't have any female friends. Because you just run everybody off of your rude attitude. And then she had the nerve to blame it on her mom. And, okay, maybe that's so true. But I, I'm not a fan of that. Tamar Scout Braxton, I'm about to give it to your motherfucking ass, Scout. Because, you know what? You go around here, you act like you're the queen of England, you want to be motherfucking Beyonce, and you ain't even motherfucking Solange, bitch. Okay? Now, I do like your music, but you, I don't I don't see it for you, bitch. I just don't understand why you were so disrespectful to that lady like that, and then you, 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 you tweet it. No. Let me see what she put on Instagram, y'all, because I like, I like to have the facts. Um, Tamar, Muppet. Oh, wait, because she put up. Okay, yeah. The second you realize you have just acted like your mama, it looked like I worked on Brooke Burke last, yeah, Brooke Burke last nerve. Like, she was asking me if she can go with her friend. Sorry, boo, it's my, it's in my DNA. Here's my issue with you, and I'm tired of people thinking, oh, yeah, this is the way I was raised. This is the way I was brought up. This is the way my mama is. No, bitch. Your mom has nothing to do with the way you act. You're a grown adult. You're your own self. Y'all got to stop getting out here and say, oh, this is my this is my Zodiac sign. This is the way I'm set up. I'm bipolar. Okay, so when I knock your motherfucking ass out, that's just the way the fuck I am. This bitch done made me hot. Because I hate people like that. They want to be rude, and then they want to come back with a statement behind it, and then have a reason as to why you act like that. No, you're just a rude bitch. And that's the, that's the bottom fucking line. You can't. You can't, I can't come slap the fuck out of you and then say, oh, no, you can't slap me back because that's just the way I am. Bitch, you gonna get your head knocked the fuck off. Did y'all see it? What do y'all think about Tamar? Oh, I gotta, mm -mm. Tamar is rude to me, and that's why She's always clashing with her sister. She doesn't have a solid group of female friends. And I, like I've been saying the whole time, I side out a fuck out of a female who doesn't have at least, you know, one or two or three female solid friends. You know, at least even if you make it famous, you at least got that one friend that's been ride or die with you since day one. You don't even have that, Tamar. You barely got friends in the music industry. And that, to me, alone says, bitch, it's you. You remind me so much of Kenya Moore because the only friend you got is a faggot. Mm. Oh, Lord, my milk. Y'all, that ain't even milk. This is my protein shake I'm drinking. But Tamar got me hot because I was scrolling on YouTube. I was in a... And I was like, okay, let me see what she said. Maybe she didn't say anything bad because, you know, I'll give people the benefit of the doubt. And like I said... What she said was absolutely right. It was just the way she went about it. You didn't have to be rude like that. You really didn't, Tamar. You didn't have to be rude. And I don't understand why you even act like that. Because your record sales don't give you enough to have this diva funky ass attitude you have. Ain't nobody really buying your music like that. And quiet as it's kept, you had to cut your motherfucking hair off, bitch. Because them edges was gone. Don't try me, scalp. Don't put, oh, I'm in a new place. I, I don't cut all my hair because me and Vince is getting a divorce. Nah, bitch. Them edges was gone. Your nerves probably went bad. And them edges, you probably could quit taking care of them damn edges. Even more, they was already told to hell, scalp. That's your new name, scalp, bitch. Wanna do me. 
you ain't had no business trying that lady like that because she was just saying maybe that that lady do let her kids get in the um in the car with strangers that's not i think she was asked i need to go watch the whole motherfucking interview but you was still rude you was rude as fuck and i hope steve harvey don't let your muppet looking ass go back on that motherfucking show no more scalp Cause you disrespectful and you think you supposed to talk. I see. I bet you wouldn't try Tammy like that. I bet you wouldn't have. Cause Tammy would have got your motherfucking ass together, scalp. You need to get some coconut oil and put it on top of your head, cause your scalp looking dry. Bald headed ass bitch. Anyways, y'all go check out that interview and let me know what y'all think. Cause I think that Tamar was very rude. I didn't think she have to act like that. And, you know, the lady, they were just simply talking on a panel about their opinions. And like I said, you didn't have to blame how you acted on your mom when your mom comes out of you. And what's funny about that, it may as well be true. Because Trina Braxton was on Ayala and she Ayala told them that their mom has raised them to be bitter. But I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm necessarily believing that one. You don't have to live on the tales of your mom. You're grown. And you always have this thing, oh, I'm the baby sister. Fuck that. Grow the fuck up, Tamar. Grow up. Probably why you got your goddamn head knocked off. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Don't come on here. I don't want, no. I don't want the women's associate coming here attacking me. I'm just joking. Anyways, y'all, um, I'm getting out of here because I'm tired of scalp. Bye, scalp. Go put some coconut oil on top of your head, hoe.